Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to take you through the initial wallet setup for the Uphold wallet. So let's get started. All right, and here it is. This is the way to uh, get started. It's very easy to use uh, and it's trusted. It's been around for a long time. It's a great way for a beginner to buy a little bit of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. Um, if you're interested in cryptocurrency and you want to get started, uh, this is a really easy, quick way to do it. So we're going to sign up for an account. All right, and you just need to put in your email address. So choose a password that is uh, secure, complicated, uh, but one that is uh, mnemonically easy for you to remember. Okay, and so you'll enter your name. So uh, they're going to send an email. You'll want to click that email and uh, confirm. Okay, your email is going to look very uh, just like this. You'll want to hit get started. All right, so uh, now uh, they take you to this next screen and they're encouraging you to uh, enable two-factor authentication. All right, and then we hit continue. All right, so this part can be a bit tricky, so I'm going to share my screen with you uh, so that you can follow along. So uh, don't get too uh, intimidated by all this. Uh, two-factor authentication is a good thing and uh, I personally use Google Authenticator. So uh, for some reason, Uphold uh, exclusively uses Authy, but that's okay. Uh, I got a copy of it myself. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. You'll just go over here to the App Store and you'll uh, search for Authy. All right, and there it is. That's the icon, you'll just download that guy. Okay, and once you get it downloaded, you'll launch the app. All right, and you're gonna need to put in your cell phone number. Uh, the code there will be your country code. So for most of us, that's just gonna be uh, United States. There we go, United States of America. And then we put in the cell phone number. All right, and so you just enter your phone number in there and tap okay. And enter an email address. All right, and then uh, tap OK and tell it that you can receive SMS is easier because it's just going to send you a code. And you should get that code right away. You just enter that in there and uh, I'm going to go ahead and allow Authy to send me notifications and you'll see there I've got that uh, code there for uh, uphold now now these codes change you'll notice that the token expires uh, and it counts down which is fine just uh, it's always generating new codes for security so uh, whichever code is showing is fine so we'll enter the new one here all right and then we'll do that and now we're good to go. Uh, let's go ahead and sign in using uh, the email. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off screen sharing on the phone for now. Okay. And you might be taken through a CAPTCHA. Uh-huh. Okay, and at long last, now, uh, now that we've logged in, <laughs> They want this code again. Isn't that great? All right, so let's put in the code. And we Hello made it. and welcome to Uphold. With up. Okay, so I'll skip the intro video. I'll leave that uh, to you guys to uh, check out when you get it. And you'll notice here that uh, when you first log into your account, that you're at this home screen here. And uh, it has a couple of cards here. Now, uh, you can think of these as cards, like debit cards or credit cards, but uh, they're really uh, like cryptocurrency accounts. So you've got a Bitcoin account card here. Um, the XAU, the, that's an Australian currency. Uh, you've got a US dollar card and a Euro card. 
So now you can add other cards and other cryptocurrencies, but this is where you get started. So if we want to buy some Bitcoin here, uh, we can click this little link here and it's going to give us a few choices. So we've got the, and this is send, and if we choose add funds over here, we can add funds uh, from a bank account or a debit card. Now, before we can go too much further, we want to uh, verify the account. So I'm going to take you through that. All right, so you, it comes over here and then it says become of that tells you that you're not verified and to become a verified member. So we're going to click that link and we'll click this here. All right, so we start with the address. You put in your uh, address where you live. All right. And. Uh, Tell it what country you're in here for ID. So this is multinational uh, type of account. So I'm in the US, I'll choose that. The next thing it wants is some kind of card. So I'm gonna choose driver's license. And uh, I'm just gonna choose capture image from camera. Now you could also do this uh, if you just scan your driver's license and uh, save it to the computer, if you've got one of those all-in-one printer scanners, you can do it that way. Uh, or you can use the uh, webcam of your computer and just hold your ID up so that it can take a picture. I'm hoping that it will work for you and you'll simply be able to hold up your ID to your webcam. But uh, it is not cooperating with me tonight so I'm going to go ahead and scan my ID card both front and back and save it as a file on my computer okay so if you have an HP scanner you can use HP smart all right I'm gonna edit and like resize so it's mostly got the card there hmm. well I'm not sure if it wants oh it does want an image file so I'm going to save this as an image file and I'll just call it front and I'm going to do two separate image files because it looks like it's going to ask me for two different um, files to upload. Put this on the desktop and I'll call this one back. All right. Okay, you may have different scanning software. We'll see what happens. All right, so I'm going to get out of that. All right, so now it's asking me uh, to upload the front of the driver's license. I'm going to choose file. And we'll go out here to our desktop and choose the front. All right. And then I'll continue. And then it wants the, uh, the back of the driver's license. I'm going to choose that and click open. All right. And then I'm going to click confirm there. And they want an image of our face now. <laughs> okay. All right. So let me see if I got a picture of you somewhere. And let's try that. All right, and then we're going to hit confirm there. All right, and uh, it's going to take them a little while to review your information. I know this is a lot of hoops to jump through, uh, and it may be a little intimidating, a little bit scary to people, but, the, uh, but what it really should make you feel is secure because what they're doing is uh, verifying your identity so that uh, you and only you are going to be able to uh, add and remove funds from this card. And of course, that would be the way that you want it. And I know it's a, it's a lot of hassle to go through this process, and uh, there are a lot of hurdles to jump in it, but once it's done, you'll be able to safely buy cryptocurrency, uh, trade it, move it, do whatever you want you'll be uh, in the 21st century gang so uh, I know this is a little bit uh, daunting but trust me it'll be worth it once you get through it all right and so while we're waiting uh, for the uh, verification I will go ahead and show you how to uh, install the app on your phone uh, which makes life a little simpler as well I like both 
Uh, I like to use the one uh, in my web browser when I'm at home and uh, so I can easily maneuver. But it's nice to be able to check my balance and send and receive from the phone as well. So let me take you through that. All right, so we're going to go back to the App Store. And this time we'll uh, download the Uphold app. All right, and there you can see it right there. Oh, I guess it was downloaded. Did I do that? I think I did. Oh, okay. All right. So uh, at some point in the proceedings, uh, the Uphold app got downloaded. Uh, you can either go to the App Store and get it, or during this whole uh, process, um, it does send you a link uh, to download on the phone. So let's launch Uphold, and then we'll sign in with the uh, email and password that we created on our web. All right, and then the first time you log in on the phone, it's going to ask for that verification code, and you'll see there there's a, a little choice to choose Open Authy, which we'll do. And so we'll tap open there and that's our code and we can tap that code oh see down here we've got the copy we can copy the code and then uh, flip back over here and just paste it in or if you're one of those people that have good memory short-term memory you can go ahead and uh, just remember it if you want to flip back over so then they walk you through a few of the things that you can do with Uphold and your cards. And I'm going to go through some of these with you. So we can send money, move money, uh, enter a PIN for yourself. Which, uh, by the way, on the iPhone, that PIN, uh, you can also use your Touch ID or your Facial ID, too, which just really makes it easy to log in. So I'm going to go ahead and enable Touch ID. And uh, they want uh, choose your passcode. You want to enter a passcode for that? All right. So once you've done that, um, I'm just going to quit the app here. And then when we relaunch, you'll notice that Touch ID is enabled. So we can open this with the Touch ID. And that makes it really easy to log into your Uphold wallet from your phone. Ah, your social security. Ah, okay. So uh, upon a uh, refresh, it told me that it was missing the tax ID number or social security number. Uh, I didn't notice that it asked me for that, but it is now. Uh, and uh, I'm pretty sure uh, it always does. I must have missed that. It's telling that it needs to resubmit the document. So I'm going to try again. So uh, after we submitted that, and it asked us to re-enter, resubmit the ID card and the picture, it finally uh, verified. So uh, we're good to go. Okay, so now that we've uh, become verified, uh, we'll be able to transfer money easily uh, back and forth uh, between the bank account and uh, the debit card. Um, now, keep in mind, let's say uh, you do want to buy some Bitcoin. Um, if you want to add funds to the Bitcoin fund from your bank account, it is going to take a while, right? And you will need to link your bank account to the card, so uh, to uphold. So you'll start there, and uh, you're going to enter your routing number and your account number. You can usually find this in your banking app if you have a banking app on your phone. Uh, you can get these numbers off of your uh, personal checks if you need them. And uh, you're going to put the name and the address uh, and click Create. And that's going to add a bank account uh, to Uphold. And that will link your bank account uh, not only for uh, purchases, but also withdrawals. So uh, that's going to make Uphold a really convenient way to buy cryptocurrency and to uh, cash out of any cryptocurrency holdings that you may have. So uh, that's a good thing. You want to get that done. And also, if we go back to the card again, uh, you can see where in Add Funds we can add a credit card or debit card. Uh, and uh, when we go through this, we'll uh, link a debit card for much quicker transfers. The bank account uh, funding or purchases is going to take uh, 
a few days at least, if not more. So uh, they only accept uh, credit cards or debit cards uh, that are in these currencies. So if you have a card that uh, Euro, Pound Sterling, uh, British Pound, and uh, the US dollar. So uh, if you wanna use the debit card option, uh, then you'll need to be using one that's linked to one of those currencies. So uh, we would click uh, the US dollar card. See, you could also choose the Euro card, but not the Australian card for some strange reason. It would have to be the uh, BP card, <laughs> whatever. All right, so in my case, it would be uh, the US dollar. All right, see, they've switched me over to the US dollar card. Uh, now we can link to our card to this. Now, uh, so basically that's what's happening. You're going, you have these cards here and uh, you're gonna have to link your US dollar card to your debit card so that you can transfer funds into the US dollar card. But once you've done that, let's say you've moved $50 on uh, from your debit onto this card, then you're gonna easily be able to transfer it between the card. I'd like to remind everybody that I have a live stream every Friday night, 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Uh, we call it the live Q&A from LA. So uh, I invite you to join and throw out any questions that you may have. I hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.